The Tribal Chief has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. The head of the table is at the showcase of the Immortals. We've seen Reigns defeat the all-time greats here at WrestleMania. Edge, Triple H, The Undertaker. But there's no bigger win than winning the biggest WrestleMania match in history, unifying the WWE and Universal titles by defeating Brock Lesnar. Whatever this superstar does, you cannot allow Brock Lesnar to enter beast mode. What are you gonna tell me next? You're not gonna allow water to be wet, Saxton? Ah, the beast is in the house! Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! It is cowboy time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Brock Lesnar has been a WrestleMania main eventer ever since his first WrestleMania, where he won the WWE title from Kurt Angle. Since then, he's had many main event encounters against the likes of Triple H and Roman Reigns, even ended the Undertaker streak. But this man has a WrestleMania chip on his shoulder after losing the championship unification match against Roman Reigns at the biggest WrestleMania match of all time. Once again, staring down the superstar that many consider to be his biggest rival. Oh, it's more than a rivalry at this point. It feels like cosmic connection. It's like someone grew Roman Reigns in a lab for the sole purpose of fighting Brock Lesnar. Whoever headed up that experiment must be really pleased with themselves. You have two alpha predators in this ring. And there's about to be only one. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, oh punch to the gut! I'll take the wind right out of you. Face first in the turnbuckle. You have to think this match is going to favor whoever controls the pace. A faster tempo would clearly play to Roman's advantage against the lumbering beast. I somehow agree with you. However, on the other side of that coin, a more methodical pace gives Lesnar the advantage where he can just slowly tear the Tribal Chief apart. A beatdown on the big dog. And Lesnar's unloading all of his fury on Reigns. Reigns turns that around. Finally, Roman's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Reigns isn't allowing that burst of attacks to throw him off his game. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Catches a punch. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Straight impact on the throat. This could be it. Cover. He gets an emphatic kick out. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Endless knee strikes. That hit connects from Roman Reigns. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. 
You are now entering Suplex City. Uses the edge of the knee. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, punch to the gut. I think the wind right out of you. Lesnar on the wrong side of that exchange. Just one step ahead. He must have had that scouted. Up and over, all the way to the floor. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Enough already. Uh-oh. With the counter. Boom. Just mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Quick take down there. And the Tribal Chief really having to acknowledge the offense directed right at him at this point. That's the brutality we've come to expect from Brock. Uh-oh. We're about to take a trip to Suplex City, courtesy of the Beast. And another. Brock is stopping at nothing to put Roman Reigns down for good. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. One, two, Breaks the count. Obviously still has some fight left. Byron, grab your little dog and warn your aunt. There's a five coming through. That is what it takes to topple Reigns. And by voicing those opinions, Roman has permanently attracted the Beast Incarnate's incredible fury. Lesnar has no intention of letting Roman think he runs things around here. What a shot! Big clothesline! Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh, an alley-oop bomb! Looking for an early pin! That'll do more to get the fall. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Reigns really having his way right here. You don't see Lesnar flustered like this very often. Yeah. Roman Reigns has definitely been one of the most dominant superstars we've seen in some time. Very, very true, Cole, which is why when you're facing off against him, you have to do your best to be the smarter competitor. You've got to get into Roman's head and try to push his buttons, because that's the only way you're going to outclass the Tribal Chief. Wow! Niagara Driver! Brock here now, not used to being without the momentum. Lesnar's just unable to stop Roman's all-out assault. Superman punch. And into the count. Two. And Brock Lesnar manages to power out at two and a half. Just a dominant display. Look at this power slam. And some strain coming to Lesnar after that maneuver. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Instantly, he has his shoulders up. Are you kidding me? Not even a one count. Big counter from Reigns. Finally, Roman's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Yeah, Roman was able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but can he take control of this match? Gracious. Roman Reigns has just taken command. Reigns is picking up steam. Had an answer for the big dog. <laughs> to Suplex City. Brock is stopping at nothing to put Roman Reigns down for good. And this has got to be it. 
And an effective pin. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Brock with the quick wherewithal. Take the wind right out of you. He avoids the damage. Rapid fire Samoan drop. Here he goes for the win. No kick out of two. How? How? Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Saw it coming and went for the defensive headbutt. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. And some effective offense with that one. Driven into the barricade. Oh, and he slammed his face right into the barricade. Oh, no, what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up on the barricade. And a big boot. On the apron. Whoa! What a landing! Brock must be phased after this string of action. I must give credit. Catching Brock like this is an incredible challenge. Quick thinking pays off. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. And now gets tossed into the ring. Uh-oh! Locked and loaded! Here comes the big that's got to be it. Two. No, oh, the base kicked out of two. How in the world did he do that? Reigns is setting up, Michael. Here it comes. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Michael Cole takes shelter. Here comes the storm. Look at five. Good night. He kicks out somehow. Reigns able to get his shoulder up. And I don't know how many more times he can do that tonight. Lesnar is pissed off now. Lesnar doesn't get paid by the hour. He wanted this to be over seconds ago. Tickets were sold tonight because people wanted to see a big fight. And judging by the reaction, I'd say they got one. Lesnar and Reigns delivering as they always do. Close line in the corner. And Roman Reigns demanding acknowledgement from the... Hoping to end it here! What is it gonna take to put him away? Uh-oh! Reigns had that scouted. Placed in the corner. Defiant counter to Reigns. with an uppercut. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. Turned that one around. Pulled back in. Belly to belly suplex. Again, the torso is punished. The core of the entire anatomy could dramatically slow your movement down. Superman punch! Such determination from Reigns. Committed to beating the Beast. Superman punch in the corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh! And the spear! That spells trouble for Lesnar. Cover! going to celebrate all night long. Well, this is one matchup that lived up to its billing and then some. Here is your winner. Roman Reigns proves that he can take a beating like few others at the hands of the Beast Incarnate and not only survive, but win.
No question, the big dog protected his yard and outlasted Lesnar tonight. 